popote ambapo unatusikia jioni ya leo tumekuja hapa mahali tena ili tuweze kushiriki nanyi neno la Mungu na pengine unauliza hawa ni yakina nani ambao wako hapo sisi tunaitwa Kitara for Jesus Missions na ndio sababu tuko hapa tuweze kuhubiri injili ya ufalme wa Mungu Bwana Yesu asifiwe na kabla hatujaendelea nataka kumuita baba yetu ambaye ndiye kiongozi wetu katika hii missions Kitara for Jesus Missions akaweze kutukaribishia mtumishi wa Mungu ambaye ataweza kutunenea na pia kaweza kutu, kutusalimia mtumishi wa Mungu our dad Refred Jofre katika jina la Yesu tumpigie makofi mazuri hata anapokuja katika jina la Yesu Kristo thank you Jesus hallelujah tumpigie mungu wetu makofi mazuri paka mtumishi wa Mungu akaweza kufika hapa in Jesus mighty name Hallelujah. Karibu sana, karibu sana. Amen. Kwanza kabisa waheshimiwa uh, wa wote wa Kitale ha mjambo. Kama unanisikia na umepokea salamu zangu, tafadhali niunilie mkono nijue ya kwamba umepokea salamu zangu. Ah, sana sana na furai kwa wale ambao wamenisalamia na mimi nawasalamia katika jina la Yesu. Kama mlivyosikia pale mbeleni nilipokuwa nikikaribisha kuja mahali hapa jina langu ni Reverend Jeffrey Ochana. Na Bwana Yesu ni mwokozi wa maisha yangu. Mimi ni mzaliwa wa area hii ya Kitale na nimefurahi sana kupata nafasi hii hata kuona ninyi wengine mkikaribia sisi na mnatusikia mkisikia neno la Mungu. Kwa hivyo anasema kwanza kabla sijamkaribisha mnenaji na wakaribisha ninyi tuko hapa kwa ajili yenu. Maana tunaamini Mungu anayewapenda ninyi na Mungu anayependa ninyi mumjue Yesu Kristo mwanawe pekee ndiye ametutuma hapa. Na kwa hiyo nawaheshimu sana naomba ya kwamba siku ya leo mtabarikiwa. Asanteni sana ninyi ambao mmekuwa pamoja nasi tangu jana na hata leo uwe pamoja nasi. Na leo nimesimama hapa kumkaribisha mnenaji wa neno ni ndugu uh, uh, ndugu Gordon. Basi ndugu Amen. Gordon kuja hapa upesi na upande huko juu. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Thank you so much yeah. our elder. Mungu yeah. akubariki sana yeah. katika jina la Yesu tunapoendelea mali hapa tumwapirishie na tumbariki kwa makofi mazuri katika jina la Yesu amen haleluya yes. ni mzee wetu wa ajabu sana amen. na Mungu amembariki amen. hata kumfikisha hizo miaka tunashukuru bwana kwa yote tumwapirishie kwa makofi mazuri amen. hata anapoelekezwa mali pale katika jina la Yesu amen. wakazi wa muji huu tumerudi mali tena hapa We have come up back here again today. Tumekuja hapa tena siku ya leo. And I believe we are going to be blessed once again. Na naamini ya kwamba utabarikiwa mara nyingine tena. There is nothing that is joyous. Na hakuna jambo ambalo linakufurahisha. Than hearing the word of the living God. Kama kusikiza neno la Mungu aishie milele. The Bible says. Biblia inasema. Man shall not live by bread alone. Mwanadamu hataishi kwa mkate peke yake. But by every word that comes from the mouth of the living God. Lakini kwa kila neno atakayotoa kwenye kile kitabu cha Mungu milele. And the Bible says in 2 Timothy. Na Biblia sema kitabu cha Timotheo wa kwanza number 3 and verse 16 3 na 16 that all scripture ati maandiko yote is the breath of the living god ni pumuzi ya Mungu aishie milele is profitable na ni, ni, ni nzuri for each one of us kwa kila mmoja wetu it can correct us ya kuweza kutukana it can uplift us inaweza tusaidia it is able to remind us inaweza kutukumbusha and even to point us to christ hata kutuelekesha kwa kristo therefore we are delighted to be here once again na kwa hivyo tunafurahia kuwa mahali hapa tena yes Today, we can testify that Kitale are a blessed people and you are a wonderful and amazing people you are ready to hear the word of the living God even, even in your working place even as you are taking a break but you are still ready to hear the word of the living God and it is our desire that this word change your life even to a better person even to a better living because god has called
told us to give us life and in his fullness na uzima kweli kweli in abundance so that we can live this life even joyous even today and in the life to come in the mighty name of the living God and yesterday we shared the love of God that love is given and love is taken so you have to get this God has given us this love for God has loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life and I emphasize yesterday the Bible is clear whosoever you are part of that don't exclude yourself don't say this is for the wazungus don't say this word is for the mzungu don't say this word is for a certain tribe this word is for all of us hallelujah, hallelujah. you are part of whosoever you are simply to believe and our life shall be changed in Jesus mighty name and I gave my personal testimony that I was not born even in a family of believers but one, one time the preachers came in my life and they preached this gospel and I listened to the word and I received Jesus Christ as my personal savior so Jesus is Lord in me he has changed my life in the mighty name of the living God you know what this morning when we were preparing this place I saw a certain gentleman and he is actually even a young man and he was a madman and that thing reminded me of my biological parents of my biological, biological father my father was a madman hallelujah so see what God can do my father used to walk in the marketplace taking every kind of food even walking naked and speaking a language that we could not understand hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. and here today you can see the product of what can come out of good of the madman God changed my father's life and I changed my life and I started praying for my father and I prayed for deliverance and I prayed for his complete healing and my father died completely whole hallelujah, hallelujah. loving Jesus and today my entire family they are all born again including my mother including my younger brothers they are all today born again hallelujah, hallelujah. and therefore when I saw this madman I said this is a candidate God loves even the madman hallelujah don't exclude yourself and he came here we prayed with him hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. and he has walked back well and I believe his life is well not only for his life this is for the kitale we decree kitale for Jesus kitale for Jesus in the mighty name of the living God hallelujah bad men be whole again in Jesus name they come back to their senses in Jesus name the lame to walk in Jesus name the blind to see in Jesus name in the mighty name of the living God so we have the love of God that's the love of God and that is Jesus Christ he is the Emmanuel he is Emmanuel he is God together with us and therefore we are not on our own even as we are standing here today he is together with us in Jesus mighty name hallelujah so brethren even if you are relaxing there it is you relax in the law you are taking your lunch but it is good to hear the word of the law because this is the truth and man shall live by everyone from the living God and therefore today hallelujah today being our second day here I want to take us in the book of Luke chapter number 5 hallelujah go with me the book of Luke chapter number 5 and I know maybe you do not even carry your Bible but don't mind hallelujah and brethren I'm still inviting all of us 
I'm inviting all of us. We have a good tent here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You come and your seat is already there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are inviting you. Because we have also been invited. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So don't feel ashamed. This tent is for you. So that you can listen comfortably. In the mighty name of the living God. You are the VIP. You are the VIP. You are the very important person in the eyes of the living God. So if you have never been invited, we are now inviting you even to this tent in the mighty name of the living God. Come and listen to the living word. This word will change your life. It shall change our life here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter your age. Look at our elder here. Geoffrey Ochana. Geoffrey Ochana. He ministered to my life. In the early 80s. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was still a youth. Not even a youth. I was actually a boy. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But the message you preached in my life. Has transformed my life today. Today I am a married man. I was not a pastor by then. He was a minister of the gospel. Hallelujah. But see what the word of the Lord can do. It has transformed my life. And today I am bold here. Bringing you the good news. Hallelujah. In the world we have no good news. The news we see in our television. The news that we see in our newspapers. The news that we see in the radio. They are not good news. You hear father has raped her own daughter. That is not good news. You hear a boy has killed his family. That is not a good news. You hear a lady has given birth to a baby. And he is going to the pit. That is not good news. The word of the living God. This is the good news. Jesus is the good news today. In the mighty name of the living God. The gospel we have brought to you is not bad news. But we have brought to you good news. The Lord that lifts you from one glory to another. Hallelujah. 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 So today I'm taking us in the book of Luke chapter number 5. This is a story of Jesus Christ. Who was being followed by a multitude. And the multitude were following because of the good news and there were so many and when they followed him even to the lake hallelujah, hallelujah. to the lake of Gennesaret and there was a multitude hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. there are some seeing multitude of people here in Kitale hallelujah, hallelujah. everyone on his own business if I see trucks like this one if I see the mechanics around it was just the same case but the goodness Jesus was preaching the good news hallelujah but what attracts me most what attracts me most today is he borrowed one of the sheep hallelujah Amen. hallelujah Amen. of the man called Peter the same way we have borrowed this piece of place hallelujah. hallelujah just to share the gospel with you but amazingly Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The amazing thing. Jesus was preaching to the multitude. Yes, but the man he borrowed the sheep from. They were just busy. Hallelujah. What were they doing? They are washing their nets. Because they have worked all night long. And they caught nothing. They were taking nothing back home. I can see business men and women here when evening comes maybe you are counting losses maybe you have reached your dead end it was you are not alone it is not only happening to you it happened even to the people in the bible by then and Jesus was, did not give up Jesus did not give up he still ministered to them and the point I am bringing to us here
Hallelujah. Now we can even go keep here. It's even verse number five. Hallelujah. 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 The Bible says Bible that, says that says when he was returning the the, the, the boat, when he was returning the boat, to the owner. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I believe you are the owner of whatever you are doing today. You are the owner of that business. Hallelujah. You are the owner of that car. You are the owner of that shop. You are the owner of my Nichoma. You are the owner of that carpentry. You are the owner of that boda boda. So my message is you today, the owner. Hallelujah. 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 Verse number four. Now, when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, Launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a drought. For a catch. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Simon answering said unto him. Na kamambia, we have toyed all night. Mkubwa, kazi, and have taken nothing. Kucha, usi, usi kucha, and nevertheless. Na chochote, and nevertheless. Kwa neno lako, at thy word. Kwa neno lako, I will let down the net. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is an interesting di discussion here. Kuna, 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 ba, 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 let me read even verse number 3 of Luke chapter number 5 and when he had entered into one of the ships which was Simon's and prayed him and prayed him that he will thrust out a little from the land and he sat down and taught the people out of the sheep now when he had left speaking he said unto Simon Hallelujah. Hallelujah The message I'm bringing to all of us today Jesus wants to have a direct conversation with you Jesus wants to have one on one with you On the other hand is the multitude But when he had finished that He came to you individually Salvation is individually. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can be born in a family of born again believers. Maybe even your father is a preacher like me. But God wants to deal with you individually. Don't look at how many we are here today. But the question is one on one with you with Jesus. And he came back to Simon. To me the bigger picture I'm seeing here. When Jesus was speaking to the multitude Simon was ignorant Hallelujah He was not listening In fact the Bible does not tell us the topic Jesus was preaching Maybe it was a boring to him Because he caught nothing Hallelujah I believe we are here for business Maybe your are, you are business is not in it's not doing good therefore you have no time even to listen to our message today hallelujah, hallelujah. it was the same with Simon he was not listening to the message of Jesus he was busy washing his because they had got nothing hallelujah but I have good news for you here listen to the word of Jesus even to your personal level today Jesus is calling you individually hallelujah at the judgment seat we will not be judged corporately we will not be judged as Kenyans we will not be just as people from Kitale. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God will judge you individually. We will not be judged because you are a Mukikuyu. You will not be judged because you are a Luo. You will not be judged because of your pride. But Jesus will speak to you 
directly to you. Lakini Yesu atanena kwa kwa Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And a time came. Na wakati ukafika. But he went to, to Simon. Akamwendea Simeon. So today I'm coming to you directly. Leo nimekuja kwa kwa Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Believe in him. Muamini yeye. Believe in Jesus. Muamini Yesu. Believe his word. Muamini neno lake. His word is truth. Neno lake ni la kweli. His word is life. Neno lake ni uzima. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Simon argued a little bit. Yes, Simon akakaweza kuwa na maneno masomo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Master, we have toyed all night long. Tumefanya kazi usiku mzima. Maybe you are listening to me. Labda unasikiliza sasa. And you are saying, Mr. Preacher, you don't know what I'm going through. You think you don't know what I'm going through. God knows you better, my brother. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are simply to believe in his word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And what is the word today? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Launch into the deep. Launch into the deep. Hear him clearly. Believe in his son. Believe in Jesus. And your life shall be changed again. And you will, you will catch a greater catch. Your life will never be the same again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You shall be revived. Yes, after the obedient, what happened? They, they catch Mag Mega. Hallelujah. They Oh, nyingi. The Bible says that even their nets, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. was started to break. I see your business expanding. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I see your family coming back together. Out of simple things, just believe. I see your promotion on the way. I see your healing on the way. It doesn't matter what the doctors have said about your sickness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whether you are HIV positive, whether you have the cancer, we have the great physician that is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is here to heal you. He is here to give you salvation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ, the owner and the finisher of our faith, He is here for you, Mama. Come to Jesus. That is why. We are not we are bold and we are not ashamed even to say Kitale for Jesus Kitale for Jesus Kitale for Jesus Men and women for Jesus Run for your healing You are simply to believe even by faith Hallelujah Hallelujah The Bible tells us this Hallelujah Hallelujah In the book of first John chapter five Kitabu Chawaraka Yohana Wakwaza even verse number four. That them that are born again. At what Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whoever whosoever is born of the Son overcomes the world. And Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And this is the victory that has overcome the world. Even our faith. Where is your faith, Mama? Where is your faith, my brother? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because men and women of faith. Men and women of faith. They have spiritual eyes. They see the future. They see the end. They see healing. They see victory. They see life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And this is the victory that has overcome the world. Even our faith. So where is your faith today? Put your faith in Jesus Christ. Believe in Jesus Christ. He will do good to you. The Bible tells us wherever Jesus went, he went doing good. So we are also here. We are here to do good. We are here to bring you the message of hope. Thank you so much, Mama, in the mighty name. Oh, God, lift you up in Jesus' name. We are here to preach the good news. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are seeing victory. We are seeing healing. We are seeing life. We are seeing deliverance. Hallelujah. We are seeing great things in the 
kubwa katika kitani mighty name of the living God so come to Jesus kuja kwa Yesu he loves you so much anakupenda sana you are simply to believe wewe ni kuamini you are to believe wewe ni kuamini haleluya haleluya this is the victory na hii ndio uzo ushindi that has overcome the world abao umeshinda dunia we don't overcome the world with our money hautashinda ulimwengu kwa pesa we don't overcome the money with our position hautashinda dunia kwa the world with our finances hautashinda dunia kwa pesa we don't overcome the world by where you are born hautashinda ulimwengu kwa kuya tu we don't overcome the world with where you have been buried hautashinda ulimwengu kule utazikwa haleluya haleluya but this is the victory that overcomes the world who do you see the bona you see the world of faith hata imani yetu haleluya haleluya just the other day siku ingine jeu i was just following nilikuwa nafuata how queen elizabeth was being buried vile queen elizabeth alivyozikwa and you can see the dignitaries na unaona wakuu you can see who is who in this world unaona nani nani katika dunia oh it doesn't matter where you will be buried haijarishi pale ambapo utazikwa haleluya haleluya whether you have been carried with a chopper hata kama utabebwa na ndege oh even when you have been buried in a sack hata ukizikwa na ngunia i saw one of them see niliona mmoja wa mca there is a family that they have been burying their relatives kuna familia imekuwa ikizika jamii yao even in sacks hata kwa magunia but that does not matter hayo haijarishi haleluya haleluya the question is lakini swali ni kwa nini the jesus christ unamjua yesu kristo the bible says in revelation bibi tobia kwenye ufunuo haleluya haleluya we shall be resurrected tutafufuliwa haleluya haleluya paul says to to the philippian church na paulo akambia kanisa la filipi even the ephesian staff church wa ephesus that i may know the power na jua nguvu of the resurrected christ apo ile nguvu wa kristo haleluya haleluya Jesus has shown his disciples. Na Yesu akakishwa na fuzi wake. Where you have been seen me lifted up. Yakobo takapo ndio nikiruliwa. Same way I shall come. Hivyo ndivyo tutakao rudi. The question is for you and me. Kwa hivyo swali lako mimi na wewe. When Jesus comes back. Wakati Yesu atarudi. Where will you be? Ataukuta wapi? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your denomination will not take you to heaven. Dini yako itakupeleka mbinguni. Jesus is the gateway to heaven. Yesu ndio marango ya kuingia mbinguni. Jesus is the password to heaven. Yesu ndio njia yako mbinguni haleluya haleluya i love these things that we have na pende hizi vitu tuko nazo even the phones that we have today hata simu ambayo tuko nazo sasa we have what we call the password tuko na password you know if you don't have the password kama hauna password you cannot use even your phone hauwezi tumia hata simu yako you can be having money in your bank account unaweza kuwa na pesa kwa kwa account but if you don't know the password lakini kama hauna password you cannot access your finances hauwezi pata pesa zako even some of these vehicles we have today hata hizi magari ambazo tuko nazo sasa password in them wako na password ndani yao haleluya haleluya if you don't have the password na kama unajua you cannot access that vehicle hauwezi ingia ndani hiyo gari our password is jesus christ sisi password yetu ni jesus christ yes oh haleluya haleluya jesus christ yes oh christ haleluya haleluya the password to heaven ye ndio password ya kwenda bibi you know him individually unamjua yeye wewe kibinafsi spoke to simon ni akanenea simioni launch into the deep ikia ndani zaidi simon argued na simioni akaanza kama argue even like simon unaweza argue hata leo kama simioni you pastor you don't know kitale mchungaji haujui kitale we have done this tumefanya hivi but nothing has changed hakuna kitu but today we have come with the good news lakini leo tumekuja na jina hili jesus muamini yesu believe in him alone muamini yeye and you are going to catch a greater catch na unaenda kushika Brothers, you are there. Mandu wa tu ya pale. Believe in this word. Amen. Hili neno. Haleluya. Haleluya. This is the good news we have brought to you today. Believe in Jesus Christ. Believe in Jesus Christ. Your life shall never be the same again. Na baba kivi na tena. What happened after Simon believed? Kile ambacho ile tena kwa Simon said. Yeah, it's he, even though i know it my way hata kama ninajua kweli but at your word lakini kwa neno lako kale today kitale leo we brought you the word of jesus Christ. this is the Christ. word that brings life to us it will change you it will change the name of jesus it will reconcile your family 
Litarejeza mami yako. will protect you on the highway. Litakulinda kwenye njia. The word of the Lord says. Neno la Bwana linasema. If you are in the mashambani. Hata kama uko mashambani. You are blessed there. Umebarikiwa pale. When you go to the cities. Hata ukienda mchini. You will be blessed there. Utakuwa umebarikiwa. If you go in the air. Hata ukienda kwenye You shall be blessed. Utakuwa umebarikiwa. When you walk in the land. Hata utembea kwenye njia. The land shall produce. Land it has and our seed that has touched this ground. As men and women of God. Kitale for Jesus. We speak salvation in this land. In the mighty name of the living God. And the power that we have been given. We nullify every other altar. And we speak healing for the land. Salvation for Kitale. In Jesus mighty name. You are just simply to believe. Believe in the son. The son of the living God. For God so loved the world. He has given us this word. The book of Romans reminds us. That all men have sinned. Romans chapter 6. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All men have sinned. Hallelujah. And have fallen short of the glory of the living God. It continues to say. That the wages of sin is death. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The only way for you to live is to accept Jesus Christ in your life. Jesus Christ is the living God. In the mighty name of the living God. I believe you have been listening carefully. And I want to welcome you even closer so that we hold hands together and we pray together. We believe in this word in the mighty name of the living God. So you can draw near my brother unless your business cannot allow you all these things is by faith hallelujah all these things is by faith it doesn't matter whether you are sick my brother take a step of faith take a step of faith take a step of faith hallelujah I see a woman with the issue of blood she just took a step of faith and said what if I if I touch the hem of her garment Hallelujah She was healed You might be there You may think you are blind You also had the blind Bartimaeus But he shouted the more He shouted the more So today Don't allow the circumstances of Kitale Don't allow your neighbors Don't allow familiar spirits to distract you to come to Jesus There is a shout of faith today In the mighty name of the living God And as they draw near And as they he continued hearing the word of the Lord They were healed they got a greater catch and even the net started breaking so I'm calling us my brothers there I know you are just about to go back to your work but I call you here to salvation I call you here by faith that we respond by faith in the mighty name of the living God hallelujah in the mighty name of the living God faith comes by hearing but by hearing the word of the living God and we have not got brought you stories of ourselves. We have brought you the word of the living God. Come closer, my brother. I will wait for you. We will just to pray with you. And to bless your life. This gospel is the good news. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My brothers, there, just take a step. We pray together. It is just by faith. Let my brother, you are there. Just come closer. We pray together. Just by faith. For God so loved you so much. My brother, I want to pray with you. My brother there over there. Please come, come, come we pray together. This is the good news. We don't come here for any other business. We just come here to pray with you. You might be on the byways. You might just be passing by. 
na Peter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we have a message full of love. Like you My brother, brother said, that's what the word of the living God. We just we just come we pray, 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 pray together. Just by faith, the Lord God bless you. Kwa imani in the mighty name of the living God. Kwa this yesu. is the victory that overcomes the world. Even our faith in Jesus' mighty name. So brothers over there, you have been listening carefully. Let's respond by coming closer. 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 Let's respond by
na kwa neno lako siku ya leo tunakiri kusimama kwetu mali hapa sio bure hivyo bali unalete mabadiliko ya ukombozi na uzima ya uokovu katika maisha ya wapendwa hawa katika mji huu wa kitale katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunakiri ni wewe tu katika maisha wa mama ni wewe tu katika maisha wa zee ni wewe tu katika maisha wa watoto ni wewe tu katika familia ni wewe tu katika kila biashara mali hapa katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunasimamisha neno lako takatifu ambapo simioni wakakiri kwa neno lako tutatii na tutaizama kwa undani Yesu Kristo tunalete imuji huu mikononi mwako tukitangaza wokovu tukitangaza uzima tukitangaza urejesho katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunatangaza ukombozi tunatangaza uponyaji katika jina la Yesu Kristo ni wewe tu Yesu ambaye tunainua mali hapa katika jina la Yesu Kristo asante kwa sababu ya wokovu in the mighty name of Jesus katika jina la Yesu amen 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 bwana Yesu naja kwako kuniokoe asante dami zangu sote katika jina la Yesu na kutambua Yesu na kujukua Yesu uwe bwana na mwokozi kwa maisha yangu nitamme damu zangu kutoka leo na kuamini Yesu kwa mbele ni bwana na mwokozi kwa maisha yangu asante kwa msamaha wa dhambi asante kwa damu Yesu Kristo asante kwa wokovu nijase na roho wako mtakatifu katika jina ya Yesu Kristo na kutoka leo nimeokoka na nimeamini amen mikono yako juu baba katika jina la Yesu tunamtenganisha na maoni wengu haya katika jina la Yesu tunapokea katika ufalme wako in the name of the living God tunakuvunja minyororo yote minyororo yote ya laana yote ya kijamii tunayavunja katika jina la Yesu tunatangaza wokovu katika maisha yake uzima na afya in Jesus name tunamfungulisha katika jina la Yesu tukikiri kazi ya mikono yake imebarikiwa katika jina la Yesu Kristo Jehovah utadumisha uokovu na kukupakia na marafiki wa karibu katika jina la Yesu Kristo asante kwa sababu ya wokovu katika maisha yake haya maisha ya kale yamepita na tumetangaza mapya katika maisha yake ushirika mpya katika jina la Yesu Kristo vuta jina lake Jehovah uishie milele na tunafunika na damu ya Yesu Kristo tunamzingira na damu ya Yesu Kristo yote iliyonenwa kinyume chake tunayasambaratisha katika jina la Yesu waliobuona hapo awali wakanena mabaya juu ya maisha yake tunanalifa hiyo kinywa na tunatangaza huu ni barikiwa wa Bwana huyu ni mwana katika ufalme katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunambarikisha in the mighty name of the living God bariki kuondoka kwake na kurudi kwake utakase kinywa yake mawazo yake tunamseparate na madawa ya kulevia katika jina la Yesu Kristo na tutatangazia ukurasa mpya maisha mapya in Jesus mighty name thank you Jehovah God Thank you King of Kings. Thank you for the salvation power in the mighty name of the living God. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are blessed in the mighty name of the living God. Katika jina la Yesu. Wewe ni mbarikiwa, wewe ni mpendwa. Tukikiri hata urejesho katika maisha yako. Ile yote ilibiwa na adui mwovu. Tunatangaza urejesho kwa maisha yako in the name of Jesus. Utatazama salama, utasikia vizuri, utanena wokovu katika jina la Yesu Kristo kazi ya mikono yako ibarikiwe ufunguliwe njia mpya na mamlaka mapya in Jesus mighty name receive all the praise receive all the glory in Jesus mighty name si upigie tu bwana makofi mazuri katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu wapendo wa kitale mmebarikiwa sana i want to welcome the worship team to continue blessing us with a number wapendo nikiwakumbusha tuko hapa hata saa tisa tutaendelea. Sasa hivi bado tunaendelea. Bwana kwa sababu anastahili. Haleluya. Haleluya. We bless you Jesus. Haya wapi makopi mazuri kwa Yesu jamani. Wewe unastahili utukufu na hakuna kama wewe Bwana. Siku ya leo tunakuletea sifa za mioyo yetu. Tunasema ni wewe unastahili. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh,